Hello, I'm Tom and I'm going to show you how to winterize your fountain. Not this one though. So if it's just below freezing, the moving water keeps it from freezing. But if it's consistently freezing at night or into the 20s, then it's definitely a good idea to winterize your fountain. So here's the Andra fountain from Campania. It's one of my favorites. And step one is always unplugging the fountain. And it's really important to be careful when handling these things so you don't chip it. I'm just going to gently set that down. There's this rubber stopper and you need to remove that. And you just pull out the stopper with your fingers so that it can drain. Sometimes the rubber stopper looks like this and you have to use an Allen wrench to loosen it up before you pull it out. Just loosen them a little bit. You don't have to loosen them. You don't have to remove the screws. So a fountain like this with a big basin has one of these rubber stoppers and you just undo the wing nut and then pull it out. If you have a tiered fountain to empty out the tiers, there's a piece of tubing that goes up and down here and you have to lift that up so the second tier can drain. Like that. That's it, really. Once the rubber stopper is removed, you can use a fountain cover to give it that extra bit of protection. The advantage of these fountain covers from Campania is they're breathable so they don't have condensation forming on the inside compared to like a tarp. So uh, it's that extra layer of protection and we sell these too here at the farm. So if you have any questions or want to talk about your fountain specifically, feel free to email me, pottery at cornellfarms.com. That is chilly.